ओके हाई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट आई के एम सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द पास पेपर एंड द क्वेश्चन वी डिस्कस दैट इज अप टू ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द पार्ट सिक्स फ्राम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू थैंक्स लाइक ऑल ऑफ दीज सब्सक्राइबर एंड हु शोड द ग्रेट इंटेंशन एंड द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी regarding the previous videos so today without wasting the time we are going to start from question number 22 to onwards okay so uh, like question number 22 to like the last one here we have question number 30 it means that we are going to end like this uh, the whole paper in this video okay so that is the last part about the ikmc 2023 ओके अब नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इज अबाउट माथा चूज वन ऑफ द फाइव स्ट्रक्चर बिलो एंड कंबाइन इट विद द स्ट्रक्चर ऑन द राइट एंड यू कैन सी हियर दिस स्ट्रक्चर एंड द टेबल शोज द नंबर ऑफ द क्यूब्स इन ईच कॉलम इन द कंबाइंड स्ट्रक्चर वेन सीन फ्राम अबव विच ऑफ द फाइव स्ट्रक्चर डिड माथा चूज सो हियर वी हैव अ टेबल एंड इन विच द कॉलम्स आर मैंशन ओके सो कॉलम्स Are like look like these, okay? And you know that like from top to bottom, these are the columns, and left to right, these are the rows, okay? So this table is about the number of columns, and that describes the like the number of cubes in each column, okay? So uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you one trick for this question. Like uh, for example, you can see like which of the five structures did Martha choose? so first of all you have to see like whether which of the structure or which of the number of the cubes that is suitable relating to the table like basically in the table you can see 3 2 3 2 1 2 1 0 so if you combine if you sum all of these so it means 3 plus 2 plus 3 it means that 8 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so it means the total number of cubes here it would be 15 okay so in the structure there should be the total number of cubes that should be 15 now you can see on the right side we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 cubes are here and it means we have seven cubes left okay so first of all look at the structure which structure contains seven cubes like 3 and here is uh, 1 2 3 and in this pyramid it contain 5 because here the base contain 4 and the above one 5 so 5 plus 3 is 8 so it means that should not possible next one here 3 and 3 6 it is not possible here is 3 and 3 6 it is not possible so here is 3 and 2 5 it is not possible here is 3 and 4 because 1 2 and the behind cube and the above one so it means the total is 4 plus 3 is 7 so that should be possible okay although the option d is correct but we have to see whether it is in like uh, you can apply this type of uh, structure in the uh, like according to the table or not so you can see here in the structure we have like 3 2 1 so, so it means 3 2 and 1 so let's suppose here we have the number of cubes that should be 3 is it and then you can see here we have two cubes can you see here on ups and down and one cube here it means that structure is suitable okay so you can uh, like also proceed for the other ones so i just uh, tell you like how to do these questions okay now question number 23 elsa has two machines machine r rotates the paper okay machine r rotates the paper 90 degree clockwise machine s stamps the paper with a okay like this okay now the question is like for example here you can see like machine r it means that rotate okay so when you rotate it so it means this dot will comes here and then like you can see like when you rotate it again so this uh, like for example here is actually the rotation of r like rotation 
like machine R that is like rotation 90 degree and what is S the role of S is it just like the stems on like you can say this one image along with the dot okay now you can see in which order the machine used to create the image shown okay first of all we have this image let me take this image okay I took it now let's suppose I'm going to make it first like for example here we okay so in which order are the machine used to create the image shown so first of all you can see here I'm going to make the image like for example uh, it would be look like this okay so let's suppose this one is the image uh, like the symbol or the stem okay first of all I'm going to apply a so first of all it is going to stem so it mean here we have like the dot and this image should be look like this and then the next one it's rotate so it means that is rotating so dot would comes here okay 90 degree so it would be look like this and the next one that is again rotating so the dot will come here and then it will be look like this and here the next one that is again the third rotation so it means the dot will co come here and the image will rotate look like this but the image is upside down so it means that option is incorrect now we are going to apply the next case okay in the next case first of all that is rotation okay I'm going to rotate the dot so here is the dot and the next one like that is rotation the next one stamp so it means here is the dot and now we have this image and the next one that is rotation so now you have to rotate it so now the image would be look like this and now the dot would be here and next again the rotation so image will be upside down and the dot would be here so it means that is look like the same image so option B is correct now we are going to start the next one the four stakes are placed along a 120 meter track as shown so 24 30 66 the total sum of these so 24 plus 30 plus 66 so that is equal to 120 okay now what is the smallest number of the stakes that should be added so the track is divided into sections of equal length so as you know that students 24 30 and 66 the smallest number you can divide uh, like all these three with like you can say like for example if you take the HCF so you can uh, like indicate for example that is very simple so that is equal to 6 okay and now you have to divide like 120 like here we have the total like uh, you can say uh, the length or the distance that is 120 meter so 120 meter divided by 6 the answer will equal to 20 but you can see here we have three stakes are already present okay so you have to subtract three stakes from one like 20 the answer will be 17 okay so option C is correct okay now we are going to start the next one that is very interesting question like question number 25 on a table there is a tower made of blocks numbered from 1 to 50 Emma built a new tower in the following way she takes two, two blocks from the top of the original tower and puts them on the 
table as the base of the new tower so it basically it means that for example here we have a sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this and like for example the new sequence according to the EMA so first of all you have to take like for example here you can see like for uh, like for example the largest number is 50 and the uh, like the second last number that is 49 so you have to write 49 first then 50 the next one you have to write 48 then the 47 then 46 and here uh, like for example uh, you can move upward okay so it would be here that is 45 okay so you have to carry on so uh, like you can uh, do practice on the notebook and because uh, without wasting the time I am going to here show I already made here the complete structure and just I am going to shift this one so you can easily see what happened okay look at here now the question is she continue by taking the two top of the blocks from the remainder of the original tower and put them on the top of the new tower as seen in the diagram like this one okay which of the following pairs of the number are on adjacent blocks adjacent now means next to each other like where like they are adjacent these are the adjacent okay if like one and two are the adjacent not one and three okay like this so look at here first 29 and 28 so you can see here in the sequence 49 50 47 48 45 46 43 44 41 42 in the sequence so you can see 29 and 28 so where is 29 here and where is 28 so here it is not adjacent because here is there is the two numbers are in between them so it means option a is incorrect now 34 and 35 i'm going to show with different color okay 34 and 35 here is 34 and the 35 is here again these are not adjacent because there are the two numbers in between them so that option is incorrect now 29 and 26 so where is 29 here and 26 is here the, again these are not adjacent because 25 28 27 30 four numbers are in between so option c is incorrect 31 and 33 so where is 31 so here and 33 is here uh, like in between you can see 34 is present so again that is not adjacent now 27 and 30 so 27 and 30 where is 27 here and 30 is here so it means these two are adjacent to each other so option e is correct all right now we are going to start question number 26 question number 26 about Martin has three cards with numbers written on the both sides the number on the card one on the side has number four like this that is a front side and that is a back side okay like one four two five three six now the question is Martin randomly places three cards on the table and adds up the three numbers he sees. How many different sums can Martin get? So it means the number of the possible sums. So for that purpose, first of all, you have to write like we have the sequence like for example, one, four, that is the first card. The next one is uh, like for example, the second card we have two, five, three, six. Okay so first of all i am going to take one okay and i am going to make the sequence with the others like for example one with five at one time because when uh, like five is present at upside so it means two is behind so it means uh, like the possible sequence is one five one three and one six is it so now uh, like you can also indicate one two as well like for example first of all I am going to take three cards at a time so it might be one I will not take four okay instead of four I am going to take 
like for first for example the first sequence will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to like 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 and next one I'm going to take 1 plus 5 plus 3 So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 1, 9. The next, next sequence I am going to take 1 plus 2 plus 6. Okay, so 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. Okay, so you can see here, like for example, if uh, here we have, like a uh, one and I didn't take now four because I uh, like kept constant four because I just took one. So one is combining with five might be here is the one card that number is like the first card that number is one. The second card that number is two like five or the third card that number is six. So that is the again sequence. So like one plus five plus six. So it means 6 plus 5 plus 1 is 12. Okay. So now you can move for the next one. Let's suppose I'm going to take now 2. And in the 2, like you can say the opposite side that will be 5. So I'm going to uh, like fix the 5. I'm not taking the 5 now at this time. So now you can uh, relate the 2 with other one. Like 2 plus 4 plus 6. So that is equal to 12. Now 2 plus 4 plus 3. That is equal to 9. And 2 plus 6 plus 1. that is equal to 9 okay so you can see here in this sequence now I'm going to take the 3 okay so I'm going to take the 3 here in this case the 3 will combine this 3 this 3 will combine with 5 2, 1, 4. Okay. So it means 3 plus 2 plus 4. So that is equal to 9. And uh, mostly you can see here like uh, 12, 9 and 6. Like we have 3 pairs, the 3 possible sums. Like 1 is 12. Like you can see 12, 12, 9, 9, 9, 9. And here is 6, 6. So it means uh, like we found the three possibles. Now we can check because it's uh, like a complete like detailed process. So we can check like whether it's other sequence or not. So you can see here. Now we are going to move on the question. We found the three sequences. One is nine. The sums like one, nine, twelve. And the next sum that we found that is like six. Okay. So whether we have to check the other sequence. Let's suppose uh, here I'm going to. Uh, take 6 so 6 if I'm going to take the 6 as a constant so 6 and then it can be possible sum with 5 and 4 so 6 plus 5 11 plus 4 is 15 so it means now we have another sequence that is like the fourth sequence so there are how many sequences how many like different sums can be merged like Martin gets so the answer will be 4 all right now question number 27 in the second hand shop the two hats are sold for the same price as five skirts so it means two hats that will equal to five skirts okay the next one three skirts for the same price as eight t-shirts So three skirts is same as the price of 
how many t-shirts eight so three three six seven and eight and the next one that is two t-shirts for the same as three caps okay we have these one so the question is which of the following collection is the most valuable okay so it means that has the most valuable so let's suppose i'm going to make a sequences like i am just uh, changing these like with the price let's suppose here uh, like you can say here we have the cap let's suppose we are going to start from very basic that is a cap three and two so it's basically cap is one let's suppose here we have the cap of price is one dollar one dollar one dollar okay so it means that it means the total will be three it means the three rupees are three dollars so that is equal to the t-shirts that will be 1.5 and 1.5 okay because that is three now you can see here we have the t-shirts now you can see it's 1.5 so 1.5 and all these 1.5 1.5 1.5 so it means 1.5 times 8 it means 8 t-shirts so that is equal to how much so calculate it 1.5 times 8 so it means that is equal to 12 all right so it's indicate that here are the three skirts so three skirts divided by like uh, 12 so it means 12 divided by 3 it means the answer is 4 so it means each skirt that is equal to 4 dollar okay so now we have to see like each skirt equal to 4 dollar so it means 4 4 4 4 4 so it means that is equal to 20 and 20 divided by the two hats that will equal to 10 10 okay so we suppose this value now we are going to apply a hat and five skirts okay the first one one hat and five skirts so one hat price is 10 plus five skirts that is 20 so 10 plus 20 is 30 now a hat plus three skirts and a cap so three skirts is equal to 12 plus a cap is 1 13 plus a hat that is 10 so it's 23 here the next one eight skirts and eight t-shirts or eight uh, sorry eight skirts and six t-shirts so here eight skirts it means eight times four is 32 32 plus six t-shirts so what is the price of one t-shirt that is 1.5 so 1.5 times 6 is 9 plus 32 is 41 and the next one is 37 caps so it's basically 37 and the next one that is three skirts and three caps so three skirts will be three times four is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 so which one is the most valuable 41 so option c is correct all right the next question like uh okay we will solve this question number 28 later because it's like a game so it will take time so we are going to do question number 29 and 30 first and then we will see about question number 28 so question number 29 is about which of the following four shapes has the greatest area so you can see here if you look at like uh, a w a diamond a crown and a lightning okay so first of all i'm going i'm just making a square because you can see here we have like the same okay so it means these are the four squares so now and that will make combine one square as well so let's suppose you have to take uh, for example here is 10 like one side is equal to 10 
and the other side is also equal to 10 okay so first of all you have to say what is the complete square area that is 100 because you know the formula is like a square that is 10 times 10 is equal to 100 okay squares uh, like for example you can say it's meter or whatsoever now the next one you have to subtract the unshaded area from the complete area so you can see here we have one two three four four triangles is it so one triangle is equal to one over two base times height so here the height is about five is it because 10 here is the one complete side length is 10 and if you see here if you divide into two parts so it means the that will be half will be 5 so base is 5 and 5 so 1 over 2 times okay so 5 into 5 is 25 and how many uh, here the uh, like the triangles one two three four triangles so you can write four so two times one is two and two times two is four 25 times two is 50 so it mean here is we have the 50 and diamond so you can see here diamond again it is look like the same because four triangles so you can subtract the uh, like from four triangles okay uh, here you can subtract it like these four triangle areas from the square so it means that is again 50 okay now the third one okay uh, the next one we are going to see it's little bit complicated because it is not like you can see the height is not uh, like uh, on the exact position whether it's 5 or 10 so it is like might be at 8 or 9 okay so we will see according to that but first of all we have to see the next part lightning okay in the lightning you can see like one two three four again there are the four triangles is it so you can subtract the area so it means that is again the 50 is it now you have to check the next this one so you can see here like this one has the length that is about 8 okay so 1 over 2 base into height and here are the two triangles so it means times 2 and 1 over 2 the base that is uh, like you can see here the length that is 2 uh, sorry 5 so it means 5 times 8 into 2 so 2 and 2 will cancel so 8 times here we have the total length that is equal to okay so here you can see that like if you divide it so it means that 5 times 8 is 40 all right so when you subtract 40 from 100 so 100 minus 40 so the answer will equal to 60 so here it means the crown the shaded part that is equal to 60 so option c is correct all right now the last question the last question is about an explorer wants to find a path through a maze shown from the point it's just like a game so it's basically it's very easy as well like uh, from a point mark uh, start to point the mark finish she can only move horizontally or vertically she can only pass through a white circles she also has these are the limitations okay so when she reached the circles marked x what will be her next move b so you can start from here so let's suppose we are going to start like this okay uh, here I think you have to move upward so let me make it upward here so you have to down here is right let me uh, change this one because
okay so you can see here now in this segments we have to move in this format and then you have to move down then down then up then like this okay so now the question is when she reached the circles marked x what will her next move be so when he reach at circle x so it means you have to move down okay so here the option b is correct now we have to move this question question number 8 so sonia and robert are playing a game they can alternatively or alternately take 1 2 3 4 5 tiles from a pile of tiles whoever takes the last tile or a tile loses at one point of the game there are 10 tiles left in the pile and it is sonia turns to take some tiles how many tiles should sonia leave to robert to be sure that she will win so now we are going to do like for example let's suppose here is let, let's suppose here like for example if sonia left nine nine tiles okay for the robert so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so now you can see like for example if sonia take one and the robert take let's suppose like four okay and then the sonia took three and the robert took one and then again the number 10 that will be sonia okay so it mean that is that uh, like the number 10 tile that might be taken by the sonia okay so it means the option a is not possible okay the next one it's 8 now we are going to change so here like let's suppose here the two tiles are taken by the sonia and eight tiles left so out of eight like the greatest number that might be robert that he can take for example let's suppose here he took 5 so 2 3 4 5 let's suppose 4 okay so again uh, like here is the chance for the son uh, like the sonia to take two tiles and the robert take one and the sonia again the last so it mean that is again the wrong one okay the third way like for example if he uh, or if she take Uh, like three tiles and she left seven tiles for the robert so now what like what see we will uh, like here like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and 10 so you can see here if the three tiles are taken by the sonia and now we have like the three or four the greatest number you can see let's suppose here is the four so it might be now we have the chance for the sonia it mean now it is a chance for the sonia because it is uh, now she has edge because she has a less tile so she can take three tiles or she can take two tiles or she can take one tile okay so in both cases the last tile will taken by the robert so in this case the option like question number like question number 28 the option c is correct okay so that is uh, the last questions and these are the complete like you can say uh, the paper the walk through of 2023 ikmc i hope so you understand all of the questions if you have any query then kindly uh, comment feel free and if you like our video then kindly subscribe us and share our channel and also share over this video so take care we'll see you in the next video good